When my husband and I got out of the car, my mother in law and sister in law were excitedly asking my husband, Hey Paul, what's with this car? That's amazing! I'm glad you finally decided to live on our side of society. But still, it's a bold move to buy such a luxury car out of the blue. My husband chuckled and said to my mother in law and sister in law, This is not my car. It's Jasmine's father's car. What? My mother in law and sister in law said at the same time. And my parents got out of the car. My in laws were absolutely stunned when they saw the two of them dressed like that. What an expensive looking suit! And I've seen that outfit before. It's such a high end brand. Why are Jasmine's parents wearing such expensive stuff? My name is Jasmine. I'm a 28 year old office worker. I married my husband Paul last year. My husband has always been kind to me since we've been dating, and he's always taken good care of me. I was so happy to be able to marry him. We share the household chores because we both work. My husband has lived alone for a long time and is perfect at doing house chores. He's a better cook than I am, depending on what we cook. We support each other and live a very happy life. However, there are people who stand in the way of our happy married life. They are my in laws. They assume that I'm poor and say whatever they want to bully me. Why do they assume that I'm poor? I think it was probably because of the dinner party where we greeted each other's families before our marriage. My in laws are a family of four my parents in law, sister in law, and my husband. My father in law was a banker and was reasonably wealthy. Everything he wears has a brand name. They seem to think that wearing expensive things was a status symbol. By the way, my husband was the only one in the family who was not interested in such things. He buys secondhand clothes on the internet and wears them to the point that he thinks they are already worth the original price. So when I met my in laws for the first time, they had personalities and tastes that I couldn't imagine from my husband. I even wondered if my husband was adopted. It seems that the reason why my husband lived alone for so long because he didn't share the same values as the rest of his family members. He started living alone as soon as he entered college. Because they thought that being rich is the justice, when they met me and my parents for the first time, I had a very bad impression of them. My father runs a small factory. As soon as they found out, my in laws and sister in law made fun of him. He runs a factory, and yes, he might be a president, but a factory with a name I've never heard of must be poor for sure. A big bank where I work would never give him a loan. To speak in such an abusive manner, even though this was the first time we met, I questioned the character of my in laws. I would have been furious if my husband had not apologized to me in advance. My parents had also been briefed by my husband on the situation, so my parents were calm even when my in laws made fun of us. Well, it's true that we run a small business, but thankfully, we're able to continue working. We're able to pay our employees' salaries. I wonder how many employees you have. Oh, by the way, I heard Jasmine has an older brother. Oh, our son is working today. He can't come back here, so he can't join us. Is he on a business trip or something? Does your brother work for a decent company? Our son works for my company. When my father said that, the in laws all laughed at once. You mean it's a family business? A family that can't even take a day off must not be running the business very well. They kept saying terrible things about my family. 
My husband repeatedly told them to cut the crap, but they wouldn't listen to him at all. So my husband forced them to call it a day. That's why I don't have a good image of my in laws. And they're making fun of my family too. To be honest, some people might cancel the marriage if something like this happened. But I love my husband more than that, so I decided to marry him. As long as I don't get involved with my in laws, we can live peacefully and happily. In fact, my husband doesn't like his family either, and I was quite angry at them for making fun of my family, so we didn't go to my in laws unless we really needed to. But about a year after we got married, I guess they got tired of us not showing up at all. They started to force us to get involved with them. My mother in law and sister in law came to our house often. They said whatever they wanted to say. Paul doesn't come home at all. Jasmine's trying to stop him from going, isn't she? I'm sure she is. Because she would be so jealous of our lives. Well, I don't blame you. We have a different standard of living than the poor. But I hope you will at least have a baby soon. If you don't produce an heir, she's really just a scumbag wife who wants to make a fortune. My mother in law and sister in law were there for a short time from when I came home from work and until my husband came home. I get home early because I have a job that basically allows me to leave on time. But my husband has to work over time, so he usually gets home a little before 9 pm. So within about three hours, my mother in law and sister in law would come over to pick on me. You live in a really modest apartment. Paul works for a good company. You should live in a nicer house. My husband and I think it's big enough for us, so. Not your husband, but you, right? Don't impose your values on Paul. There's a lot of plain stuff in the fridge. Don't look in the fridge without permission. You don't have caviar or fine wines? We don't have anything like that. Oh, it's so boring. Why did Paul marry this woman? A poor, well seeking, boring woman is a rarity. You could say that. But if you try to touch her money, even a little bit, you be sorry. We'll erase you from society. My mother in law and sister in law would make fun of me, threaten me, ridicule me, and then leave. I would talk to my husband about it and he would scold them. But they continued to come over without showing any sign of remorse. They ambushed me at my apartment when I come home. I felt depressed to come home every time. How on earth could they get tired of picking on me? But my mother in law and sister in law kept trying to bully me. I had a mental breakdown. I tried to pass the time at a cafe until my husband finished work. Then I would go home with my husband. When my mother in law and sister in law saw me coming home with my husband, they said, You're like a pest, taking away Paul's freedom like that. It's actually more disgusting that they waited outside for three hours and tried to agonize me. My husband was so disgusted that he even went so far as to ask my father in law for help. My husband talked to my father in law, but he is just like my mother in law. He said that a poor wife is a rarity for them. If things continue as they are, our marriage will be threatened. I decided to use the last resort. I know it's not something I'm very fond of doing, but my in laws have made me angry, so I will not relent. A few days later, my husband and I went to visit my in laws. The in laws were overjoyed when we informed them that my husband was taking his wife home with him. 
I was horrified to hear my mother-in-law saying, I'm so happy to see Jasmine for the first time in a long time. I don't know what kind of fun it is to be a wife beater. And then we went to my in-law's house for the weekend. When we arrived at my in-law's house by car, my in-laws rushed out of the house and excitedly asked my husband, Hey Paul, what's with this car? That's amazing! I'm glad you finally decided to live on our side of the society. But still, it's a bold move to buy such a luxury car out of the blue, isn't it? My husband chuckled and said to my mother-in-law and sister-in-law, This is not my car. It's Jasmine's father's car. What? My mother-in-law and sister-in-law said at the same time, and then my parents got out of the car. My in-laws were absolutely stunned when they saw the two of them dressed like that. What an expensive looking suit! And I've seen that outfit before. It's such a high-end brand. Why are her parents wearing such expensive stuff? And finally, my brother gets out of the car. Six feet tall, standing like a model. My sister-in-law's eyes changed color when my brother came out wearing the same high-end brand suit as my father. Who is that handsome guy? Nice to meet you. My name is Simon, Jasmine's brother. My in-laws were frozen in amazement at my family, which was completely different from the last time they saw me. Seeing this, my husband said, What the hell are you doing? He urged them to quickly show my family around the house. My mother-in-law and sister-in-law hurriedly invited my family into the house. They showed them into the living room and said, We'll have tea ready for you right away. Her attitude was the complete opposite. The in-laws were very curious and asked my parents a question. How are you able to wear such a luxury item? So ridiculous. They're so flippant to change their attitude just because of one's appearance. Then my father told the step family members. My factory is a small one, but the parts we make up the only pattern in the world. We receive orders from large Japanese companies as well as foreign companies. My father's answer made the members of my family-in-law's faces turn blue. My mother-in-law and sister-in-law started to be nice to me. My father-in-law was silent the whole time and didn't say a single word. And my sister-in-law was very interested in my brother and talked to him a lot. What kind of work do you do at your father's company? I've always been good at English. I'm currently in charge of organizing business meetings with overseas companies. So I spend half of the year abroad. Well, that's very cool. Are you single, Simon? No, I'm married. That's too bad. But I think I'm a better match for you, Simon, than your wife. What do you think? If you're interested, why don't we go out for dinner? My sister-in-law started making a fierce attack on my married brother in front of me and my parents. To be honest, I was impressed by her mental strength. I can't help but admire for being so audacious. But I'm going to let my sister-in-law go through hell right here at once. My brother looked at me and nodded. Ha 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 ha. Me with an ordinary girl like you? Are you kidding me? Simon? You're a funny girl. I mean, are you seriously saying that you're more desirable than my wife? My wife is a former model, highly educated, and the daughter of the president of a famous company. You're lower than her no matter how you look at it. It's funny how half-rich people misjudge their position, isn't it? 
I don't say anything bad about you. So you should know your size and follow a solid path. My brother's words all hit the spot, and my sister in law was in a groggy state, on the verge of fainting. She was so shocked that she could no longer speak. And finally, my father turned to my step family. I don't really care how wealthy the other family is. Money is certainly important, but you can't measure a person's worth by money alone. Let's be human and not be obsessed with money. I'm sorry we were a little mean to you today. My father bowed his head in apology. My family in law was completely horrified and bowed to my father quickly. Since then, my family in law has never tried to bully me. In fact, they regularly contact me to flatter me. I think it's a bit bothersome that they contact me on a regular basis. By the way, neither my parents nor my brother are the kind of people who dress up in luxury brands and brag about their wealth. They just cooperated with my plan this time. My father likes to wear a suit he has been wearing for a long time, even if it's cheap. He's not interested in luxury. My brother is very kind and doesn't make fun of people. That's why his wife's father likes him so much. He even asked my brother to take over the company because he's a better heir than his eldest son. I'm sorry I put my family through something they're not used to. Everyone was extremely tired on the way home. Thus, I was able to return to a peaceful married life with my husband. I have not visited my in laws since then, but my husband visits them at least during Thanksgiving and Christmas. After that event, my in laws have changed their ways. They seem to have lost confidence, or maybe they just repented themselves. They don't brag about being rich like they used to. My husband even says that he feels most comfortable with them now. Well, I'm not sure if they'll go back to their old ways again. For now, I'm just glad that the problem has been successfully resolved. I will continue to take care of my husband and my family. I'll try to live my life with a sense of modesty. They thought they were mounting up, but actually, the other family member made money many times more than they did. The in laws should be ashamed of themselves. I would feel like a small person if I keep trying to mount the poor. I don't think the real rich people would do such a thing. I think it's good that you were able to give your family in law a good scolding. I hope you will continue to live every day with your family in good harmony.